I'm Dave Kendall, and a little later on, I'll be talking with ex-Dream Syndicate frontman Steve Wynn and unleashing a brand new video from Faith No More. Right here, a debut from Sarah McLaughlin. The Canadian singer-songwriter released her debut album Touch back in 88 at the ripe young age of 20. And now, four years later, she's followed it up with Solace, a record she says definitely benefits from her experience. I think it's a lot more honest than the first record in the sense that I really didn't know what I wanted when I made the first record. Um, I didn't know what I was doing. I'd never written a song before, so I was really experimenting and was quite strongly influenced by other people's music. And with the second record, um, I'd stopped listening to everything and was very much into trying to create something that was completely my, completely my own. And, uh, and I wasn't showing off so much, like this is all my vocal technique, this is how I can sing, look at all the nice things I can do with my voice, and more focusing on the strength of the song, making that the real, the focus. Here's a brand new video from Sarah McLaughlin's second album, Solace. It's called The Path of Thorns. <laughs> 